Uh, hello everybody, my name is Paul Clay Williams, or you call me Paul, and we're gonna spend the rest of the day exploring, keep, still exploring the Awakening Woods. Okay, but first... Good morning, the white Pikmin are lodged with the purple Pikmin in the The white Pikmin are large with the purple ones in my hall. The two types are sleeping well and do not quarrel. I have made them most comfortable. You can call the white Pikmin out by standing in the light and calling them. On a separate note, be wary of overworking yourselves. Take a break. Taking a break can be courageous too. Alright. I think that's a subtle nod to you can stop playing our game if you want. Anyway. <coughs> uh, sorry. With our 30 whites, I'm going to take out all the purples. And I'm going to take out all the reds. Now, I'm going to have Omar and Louie actually do separate things today. Well, second th separate things in this day. So, I need at least one white Pikmin. I'm going to dismiss. And all the red Pikmin. I said all, all of them. And Louie's going to ha have... And Louis gonna and and I will have Louis have the purples and the rest of the whites. So I'm gonna throw all my picking up here. Now remember how I got the five man knapsack? Okay, so this is what I'm basically gonna do with it. So sorry, just gonna throw my one white pickman up here. I'm gonna have all of our, I'm gonna have all of our take a nap. I'm sorry, sorry, you saw that right? Like he actually got up there. Okay, so that is a use for the five-hand knapsack. Now, now, Omar, I'm gonna have be on berry picking duty. Duty. So I'm gonna have all my Pikmin collect these berries. Now, for Louis, he is basically gonna work on exploring the rest of the area. So I'm gonna throw my one purple Pikmin on here, and we have a new type of enemy. This is the creepy chrysanthemum. It likes to hide in the grass, like in these daisies. Now, how do I know it was there? Besides uh, actually playing the game over and over again. But first... Astonishing. This purple berry contains an ultra bitter essence. It does not appear to have any monetary value, but I shall research its potential uses, uses for it. Bring me another specimen. Uh, we're going to need ten of those berries. Okay, but, but first, uh, well, well, I got some downtime. I'm actually going to have 15 of my Pikmin carry that back. I can't believe I actually did that, did that right. So with the... We're going to carry that treasure back. So these Pikmin are going to knock down this wall. You're, you're only going to see like 30 white Pikmin in total in this entire playthrough. So while that, I'm going to have Louie explore a little bit. So, we have to get that treasure up there. Now, you need, like, another type of Pikmin to do it, but... You know, with enough force or virtue, uh, we can actually drag it down. Chance totem. All right. So now I'm gonna have Olimar do this. So Louis actually gonna kill this one. Ah, uh, don't worry. He'll, don't worry. He'll he'll be fine. You know, because I want to build up my uh, sacrifices. So coming up here, we'll see the reason why I can't make a hundred Pikmin. Those are blues. Look there. Wild blue Pikmin are chasing the prey near the water edge. Perhaps by observing these wild specimens we can understand more about their true nature. Because ding. 
I apologize, I was monetarily entertained by them. Now back to work. Unfortunately, we can't get them back yet because of an electric gate. Oh wait, sorry, my bad. Numchuck's real old. Okay, put that put that there. And then and then we'll have enough. So Almar's gonna handle the rest of the berries. Now with my white now with my pur now with my purples and whites We need to take down that creepy chrysanthemum right there. Alright. So this is a new item. Captain Almar, I have completed my research on the purple berries you discovered. Behold, the Ultra Bitter Spray. It's uh, un it's untested, but I believe it is highly effective. Approach an enemy and burp on them. When necessary, I can produce one bottle spray from ten berries. Uh, yeah, we're not going to be collecting bear. Like, I am going to be... <laughs> so we're going to take care of this guy. Alright. Alright, so I want to have one, two, three. Uh, man. Keep getting interrupted. Healing casket. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. They're gonna handle... Alright, so they're gonna handle that. Meanwhile, Almar's gonna, p gonna be picking the next set of berries. Which are these red ones. Meanwhile, Louie... Meanwhile, while they're working on that bridge... Louie's gonna work on building the, this bridge right here with his six purple Pikmin. Come on. I dare ya. So, we're gonna attack this frog so it doesn't bother us. And with... Oh, please, not now. Uh, yeah, okay, okay. An ultra spicy... It's, an, it's the same thing. But, uh, I'm worried about my purple Pikmin. Come on. Get out of the water. So, they're gonna work on this bridge right here. Alright, so while... Alright, Almar's gonna be working on this one right here. Climb up at you. Louie's gonna work... Louie's gonna bring this back to the base. It's, an, it's the other side of the globe. So we'll be exploring a new area tomorrow. Fascinating. This object is highly similar to the one you found in the Valley of Repose. By exper... Very, by exp by ex examining this further, I may be able to envelop new planetary data. Alright, just gonna pop this off. And they're gonna carry the, that back. Wow, the purple pigment are done. Uh, we'll, we'll get back there soon. Okay, but for now... I need to... Get this back to the ship as quickly as they possibly can. Captain Almar, my research on the red berries you discovered have yielded a powerful potion. Behold, the Ultra Spicy Spray. Although it is untested. Okay, yeah. Okay, and if I press a button, I can spray all my Pippin with this. But right now, I'm in a hurry. So, this beetle right here... This beetle is actually special. 
This is the iridescent glit beetle. And attacking it will produce this little droplet. The red liquid you see contains refined ultra spicy essence. One, do one droplet contains one dose. Okay, so I'm actually going to show off that you can actually get two droplets at the same time. You see, if you push your captain in... Ah, oh, man, so much is happening here. Geographic prod projection. This hemisphere also contains a hidden microchip. I will attempt to decipher the stored data. Decoding it completely as I summarize, as this chip contains additional geographical data. The data has been implemented into my database. I shall call it the survey the survey chart. Okay, but... Okay, stop, stop, stop. Okay, Omar takes one dose, and Louis takes one dose. And we actually gave two. Alright, so, uh... So I'm gonna whistle them all since we're gonna do one more. Th we're gonna do like a few more things. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, now I need to get this done quickly. So push Louie into this. Now we have five. Alright, so one more treasure that we can get is actually up here. This is the iridescent... This is the iridescent beetle. He also drops Ultra Spicy Spray, which is why I'm, which is why I'm engaging with him. Uh, don't worry, we'll find the Ultra Bitter Spray soon, but for right now I need to hurry. So I'm going to throw all my White Pippin up, up on here. And they're going to uncover a treasure. Well, I guess not all of them, but... Anyway, push all of them in here. Okay, real quick, they're going to carry all that to the ship. Alright, so I'm just going to wait. Okay, are they carrying it? Yeah, they, yeah they're carrying it. Pilgrim bud. Alright, so now we're going to explore this cave right here. This is, this is biological sensors are reacting violently to the readings are omnivorous. The beast of unknown power lurks in the depths. A large Pikmin group would be reassuring. My sound sensors are picking up hostile roars of many beasts. Unexpected dangers, uh, expect dangerous encounters. Sensors are also showing extreme heat pockets. You may need flame resistant Pikmin. But my records indicate no such data. Are in my records incomplete? I mean, we have red Pikmin, so I guess. Well, we don't have a large number. We just have 51, so let's go. I'll cut it apart when I'm exiting the cave. It's not that long of a cave, actually. Sub-level sub one. Hole of Beast. But yeah, we got a bit done today. Which I'm proud of. Anyway, we're just going to explore, the, explore these caves. Alright, get them all. Anyway, there should be a treasure somewhere. Well, we got a monster, but that's not treasure. For some reason. Don't worry, when we exit this cave, we're going to get something that will help us locate more treasure. Ah, there it is. I see it. It's being guarded. 
So we since we have white Pikmin who can carry it faster. Look at it go. I guess I should have whistled some of the white Pikmin with me. But but there's a reason. Alright, just gonna wait for this. Stone of glory. Ah, uh, yes. I think I s seen that somewhere. Sub level two. Okay, so this. Oh, also new fauna. This uh, mushroom right here. Okay, so this is why I wanted to get like 19 uh, purple Pikmin instead of like 20 purple Pikmin. Uh, if you get 20 purple Pikmin, for some strange reason, uh, these flowers will not spawn. Which is, which is also why I, I sort of grinded uh, reds on the second day. Alright, on our way to 100 purple Pikmin. We do need 100. Anyway, that's that's basically what's all on this floor. This cave is actually intended for you to go and to be in here first. Okay, so these are Matites. You see, the Pikmin are actually freaking out. This is because of the pheromones that it produces. The Pikmin do not actually like these pheromones, actually. The only, I guess the only way to like calm them down and beat them is you use your Purple Pikmin's uh, slam ability to uh, basically, yeah, to uh, kill them. They they can't handle a slam. Anyway, the pheromones that they produce actually, okay, so why so why are they they are like in eggs? Do they infected? Well, yes. You see, they their pheromones actually coax uh, enemies to eat them. And they're actually inside the eggs, where they'll actually eat them alive. I know nature can be cruel. Oh wait, here's our here's another treasure. I'm gonna have. Ah, we need twelve. Uh, you know what? Let's put five. And they'll carry it to the ship, don't worry. And, oh yeah, these are fire geysers. You know, I'm just showing off uses for Red Pikmin. Oh look, oh look, a flash drive. Ah, sh ah, darn, I ruined the joke. <laughs> okay. So they're going to carry that back. S Strafe monolith, I believe? You know what, I probably read that wrong. I, I apologize. Alright, uh, I'm going to have all more... Parked here, and Louis gonna. Oh, yeah. Yeah, disabling is kind of weird in Pikmin, too. Like, yeah, I disabled, but some of the Pikmin are really attached to the captain, so you may have to press that multiple times. Cosmic Archive. If I remember, I think that treasure was used in Nintendo for Japan or whatever. And you can, like, download something on it, but you can have it, like, re-download for, like, multiple games. Like, it only contains one game, if I remember. Sub-level four. Alright. Just gonna throw my token over here. Alright. Just gonna go around. So I'll have my white Pikmin. 
all of my white paper can carry that. All my reds will be in here. Luck wafer. Anyway, time to pick these guys out. Continuing on. You know, there's uh, something else that we could probably get. So, checking all the corners. Oh god, that is just scary. Okay, that's it. Okay, guys, you can calm down now. They're all dead. Okay. So, yeah, one thing can actually carry that. Alright, here is our. Here's the bull board. And here, and here's, and here's the last treasure on this floor, I believe. Ah, you know, I'll throw in a purple. Anything else? Nope, just yolk. Uh, eggs actually make me throw up. Actually, I don't know why. Like every time I eat it, I, I just have the sudden urge to throw up. I don't hate it. Like, I, don't, I used to eat eggs a lot. Dream Architect. I don't know. It's just weird. So, now I no longer eat eggs. Alright, so level 5. Okay, final floor. So, we seem to be on top of a fossilized remains. If he, if, hold on. Yeah, we seem to be some sort of on top of fossilized remains of whatever this was. Anyway. Anyway. Now we have... Okay. Okay, yeah. Now we have this, whatever this big thing is. Uh, this is what is the Empress Bullblax. We're going to be seeing her for a total of three times this, this, uh... Play, whole playthrough. So, so she's sort of like a simple boss. You know, throw all your purple picking on here. Wait until she stops, then whistle them all back. So they don't get violently shook. And yes, because of how large she is, uh, she will crush your Pikmin. But she's not that bad, but she's not that bad of a first boss. Hi, recovery team. How bizarre. This device is emitting, bl emitting black light. This device is emitting black light. It must have been ingested by that creature. What an ab absolutely repulsive life form. Our return to how... Our return to Hakatate cannot be soon enough. Alright, you're gonna have to eat this though. Ah, uh, we don't have enough. Alright then. Should have brought more Pikmin. I mean, just look at it. Huh. Anyway, time to head out. Name, Prototype Detector. This contraption seems to react when it, when it, when it approaches treasure. I will connect it to my radar. Process complete. The treasure gauge is now fully operational. It will now, it will now appear on your monitor. The needle will move right as soon as you approach treasure. Anyway, down there. If you see where I'm pointing at, that is the treasure gauge. Now, whenever you hear a weird noise, and if it's and it goes dark, that basically means that there's no more treasure on that floor, and that you collected it all. Woo! 
And... Cave complete! So, I'm gonna do... I'm gonna do something which is grind out purple Pikmin for the rest of the day. Then I'm gonna call the part right here, so... I'll see you all there when I get there. Alright, so the day's ending, so, uh... You know, you know, I just figured I want to bust out every Pikmin I have. Uh, I think it was a uh, 20? Yeah. Anyway, I grinded for some purple Pikmin. I went to the Hole of Beast because there's always a uh, flower that spawns there. So that that's useful to know. Two, one... And if you ever collect a treasure that's a thousand or higher, you'll get the special theme that's playing. You also get you also get a theme if you don't collect treasure on a day. But don't worry, we'll come back to the uh, we'll come back for the blue Pikmin, you know, the day after tomorrow. Okay, today's reports for day three. So, this is all the treasure I found, up, found on day three. <coughs> Not too bad. Okay, we made a hundred and twenty Pikmin. Oh, our good work so far. I hear my promote you to her me sorry I'll, to this position of manager I'll ball go smoothly and it will so I'm gonna call the part right here and for the next part for day four we're gonna be exploring a new region uh, the perplexing pool but we aren't gonna do that till next part so thank you all so much for watching my name is Paul Anthony Williams or you call me Paul and I will see you all again next time. Have a good day, everybody.